I want to take you back to Brooklyn right now where police are briefing the public on a brutal attack that left a 43-year-old mother dead, her children in critical condition. Let's listen now in. It appears those injuries were caused by a hammer attack. All three removed to a local hospital. And like I said, the mother has passed away and the five-year-old son and the three-year-old daughter are fighting for their lives. And again, on behalf of New York City, everyone here, our hearts uh, go out to this family. But with that, I'll take any questions you might have. I will start off with Miles Miller. Right. Uh, the first two officers that responded quickly apprehended the subject, and the two backup officers uh, allowed the EMTs to work on both children in the hospital, and our officers drove the ambulance to the hospital. Uh, we're going to go over to Ida. Uh, Chief, can you give us any insight as to what led up to this attack? Was there an altercation of some sort? And um, can you imagine why you would go after the children? <laughs> I, I can't answer that. We're, we're early on. Uh, he's back at the precinct. The detectives will do what they do best. But I can describe to you as a, a small apartment, uh, three rooms occupied by three separate families, if you will. So, you know, tight quarters, don't know what the dip, dispute was about, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Was he living there in one of those rooms? He was living in one room with his nine-year-old son. The mom and the two kids were in another room, and there was a third person that lived by themselves in the third room. You right, we're here, too. Can you describe the injuries of the children? They were attacked with a hammer. It's, it's brutal. Stefan? Uh, Chief, you said he was just uh, purpose living there with his nine year old son, mother, wife involved, or just two of them? Not sure as of right now, just himself and a nine year old son. Uh, Alicia? As of right now, no relation, and it occurred inside their room. Bedroom? Okay. One room. Uh, Katie? Chief, can you speak at all to the demeanor of the suspect when he was taken into custody? I really can't speak to that right now. There was a, there was a language barrier, and he was quickly taken to the 7-2 precinct. All right, we're going to do a couple more. Ida? Chief, how did the arriving responding officers know who they were looking for? Was he still holding the hammer? Did he have blood on him? Uh, he, he had blood throughout his body, yes. All right. Anthony Call of the ABC? Uh, Chief, could you talk a little bit about uh, the injuries and why it was first believed possibly that a knife might have been used or that it was a stabbing rather than a hammer? Uh, I don't know about a knife. Like I said, it's a hammer attack on two young children and a mother who's deceased. I'll leave it at that. Right, one more last got, question, Roger Stern. Recovered start. the hammer? Recovered the hammer's right there. But just one more information. Where on the body were the children hit with the hammer? Look, I'm not going to get into it. Two young children hit with a hammer. They're fighting for their lives. All right. Thank you, everyone. We have been Thank covering you. this breaking news Did since the top of our show. Out. Just a absolutely horrific story Guys, coming out of Sunset Park, Brooklyn this afternoon. 43-year-old mother is dead. Her two young children, a five-year-old son and three-year-old daughter, now fighting for their lives after a hammer attack. Investigators said that uh, that family, along with the suspect's family and another family, all lived in one apartment, a very small apartment on 52nd Street in Sunset Park. There was some sort of dispute today. Day, um, when this attack happened inside that building. They took that suspect now in custody who lived in the building there with his nine year old son. Uh, he is now in custody. Police say that when they took that suspect into custody, he was covered in blood and that they have recovered a hammer at the scene. Yeah, they're not ready to talk about a motive just yet, but obviously the investigation continues. We're going to stay on top of this story. We'll bring you updates on the air and on ABC7NY 